Hello and welcome to the Daily News Nigeria. I'm Ekman Glory and I bring to you a very important section on ASU strike and the impact on Nigerian students. Well, the ASU strike began on February and at that period it has been from negotiations to negotiations between um, ASU and the federal government and from there we heard about um, the court sections and how the court order ASU to go back to classroom and the eight month strikes have finally been suspended and well most nigerian universities will be starting their academic sessions today while some had already resumed before date so i'll be having a colleague of mine to discuss this important topic with me and that is Cletus asuko hello good morning viewers uh glory you know the issue of Irish strike has always been in place in fact uh valuable records indicate that asu uh, has been on strike for couples for I mean, 23 years. ASU has been on strike for 16 times. And the issue of ASU did not just begin today. Well, we see that ASU is fighting for, there are many situations rather from various quarters that ASU is fighting for their pockets. Others are ASU as a body is insisting that they are not fighting for their pockets, that they are actually fighting for the interest of the Nigerian student. Now, if you going by that, if you look at how the educational system in Nigeria is, uh, the strike is really affecting the students. Mm -hmm. i give you an instance. Psychologically, do you know that there are so many students who will not be, be able to remember most of the things that they taught? Yes. Imagine a child that is just leaving school for eight months, eight good months, nothing to show. Sometimes you see that these students in least depression. Those persons even in campus who depends on the commercial activities of campus to sell and do other business, petty businesses, the food, the ice cream vendor, the meat, and amongst other, the photocopy. A lot of livelihood were halted due to the issue of Azure. But I'm thankful, I'm happy that at least after eight months, you know, many Nigerian students can smile again. In addition to what you said, and you know, most Nigerian um, parents have been looking for profound solutions to, you know, this Azure strike of a problem called. I feel most of them are like sending their children abroad to studies because um, they feel if the Nigerian um, system can provide a good education for their system, I, that other countries can do better for them. So, in addition to what you said about um, students not knowing what to, not, um, you, said, you said something about remembering. remembering anything they have been taught. I have seen, I have a friend that choose her career over school. And you know, this has caused most students to drop out of school entirely because it's academic section, the course that you are supposed to study for four, four years, years has gone yeah, six exactly. years course. Exactly, so exactly. most students don't have that patience mm -hmm. to wait. So instead of waiting, they will just drop the course and then look for something important to do. So do you feel that is a very good idea? For me, well, if you look at the, the Nigerian Navy recently when they recruited, going by that list, there were about 5,000 applicants wow. who applied for the Nigerian Navy. And uh, most of these applicants that I know personally are students. Most of them did not join the job, want to join the job because of uh, because they love to join the job. They want to come into the job because of the issue of staying at home. Most of them were tired. Let, let's say, let's be realistic. Most of them were tired of staying at home. Imagine waking up on one day instead of going to school or going back to or looking for something to do. You are home sleeping, eating. It, it's really depressing. Away from even the students, even the lecturers themselves were affected. We saw a lot of them. If you move into, for instance, Quinte Quarters, if you move there, you will see a lot of farms. Who are the owners of these farms? Most of them are lecturers. Most of them are professors. We saw our professors going back to farm. We even saw some of our PhD holders who, who, who were not able to lecture. Some of them even going back to drive cabs and taxis, doing boats. I recently entered a cab, a cab from, I think, from recently in Calibar, where I saw a, a professor of, a, I think it's a professor of philosophy. He carried me in his taxi. Imagine a professor. So, when we want to, when we look at these things, sometimes, oftentimes, we, 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 we tend to blame the government, the part of the government, because this is an agreement you want. As it's just demanded that you sign the 2009 agreement, you give them their end academic allowances, you revitalize the university system. It's just like a worker. If you are, if you have a, a, a place of work, and then you, you employ pers many persons into that place of work, and you don't want to pay, how do you want people to work for you? You have to pay. You, you, because you don't expect me to come for it. I mean, you, maybe you tell me, come on, he's talking on TV, reading. And then I read, I'm coming, I'm using my money, using my personal money, without any form of logistics. So the issue of asset strike is really with the government, because the government are not uh, doing what they're supposed to do. 
we used to see a situation whereby during the APC primaries you saw where uh, 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 the, the Minister of Education bought APC form for 100 million naira. At the end of the day, he did not pass even the primaries. He did not even partake in the primaries. He even stepped down from his political appointment. 100 million naira just gone like that. What the Minister of Education. And you know, due to the suspension of this strike, you know, schools will be open, activities will begin, and and at this point, they'll begin to rush students, like rush them real fast. Knowing fully well that these are the set of guys that have stayed at home for eight months without going through their books or attending any online courses, and then they'll just suspend the strike, and then academic sections then start, and then they'll start rushing students to writing exams, writing projects, doing assignments. I don't, I feel that alone is a huge weight on the student because I, you don't expect me to, okay, for the eight months strike, I know I've been doing a lot, aside, aside not reading, I've been working and doing one or two things to sustain myself, and you cannot just suspend the strike and I resume school and then give me lots of assignments, um, projects to write, lecturer asking you to cover a few sub um, events or so. I feel that is too much on the mental health of the students. I don't know about you, but I feel the weight is too much. Because if the students you sit down and write the exams, I'm very sure that 50% of what is being given, the students will never know 20. So I feel this strike is, is a lot. It has caused a lot of the mental health of students, both psychology, mentally, in all aspects, it has caused a lot. So for you, do you does this affect you anyway as a student? Yes, of course, personally it affects me because I, uh, yes, uh, I agree. You see that many students will be rushed. Many of them will be rushing in attendance. That one is very true, of course. But uh, if you want to look at it as well, you know that the university system, they are running with time. You know there are a lot of persons who wrote jam, even before uh, two years ago, who wrote jam, and they are not even in the university. So that's why the university most times, the most university students said, okay, go and take your exams this year. University of Cross River Crutech, they are even finishing their, uh, uh, this, uh, the academic, academic session, session, session yes. Yes. So they are finishing their things to 15th of December. They should be done with this academic session, which is not supposed to be so. Exactly. On a normal circumstances, it is not so. But when you look at it, they are trying as much as possible to cover mm -hmm. what, they have, what they have missed in the last, for a long, for a long time. time, yes. They want to cover it. They, they, they want to cover it so that they can be able to admit new students into the system. So that those persons who wrote jam, they will not be left behind. You know, two, imagine if someone to write jam two years ago, the person was supposed to be 300 level if I'm a yeah, yeah, But the person has not even started. i give you an instance. I was in 300 level for over three years. Three years, three, three years. COVID came, we overcome, came, internal strike came, internal activity, disruption of working activities in our university for five months came, we overcome, overcome the uh, other factors, as to strike, so many factors. It is even affecting, even, not just the student, it is affecting everybody. And the government want the problem with we have with the government is, instead of them to come and tackle the issue, they begin to use the issue to play politics, they begin to politicize the issue. We saw a video, we have seen a series of negotiations whereby the, the, the Minister of, Educa of, 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 of uh, Labor and Employment is the uh, uh, Chris Ngigi. You will see him, he will be making uh, uh, some derogatory statements of the part as well. He will tell him, saying that Asu did this, Asu did that, that Asu should go back to classes. If Asu, it is not supposed to be so. And somebody who is in the labor is supposed to do what is called collective bargaining. But as much as possible to table the issue in front of Asu. And then say, okay, this is what government is going to do to you. And rather, this is what government is going to do for you. And you, Asu, this is what we are going to do. So that the student can be able to go back to classes. Because if we want to go by dragging, dragging, thank, thank God for the court and for Bajami and Mila, the speaker of our students, yeah. who was able to even make them to even suspend the strike partially. Because I know very soon, I've even heard that ASU want to even go and appeal the case. The strike is not even up. Many students are enjoying, are, are rejoicing. Don't be surprised. Next month now, you'll be able to hear we are striking. Uh, that is a lot on Nigerian students, a real lot. But I feel. If the federal government and um, as we should just come together and uh, bring out a very good negotiation, everybody will be fine. And Nigerian students out there, please, whatever you're doing, just, you know, to those that have choose career over school. So I think it's time for them to, you know, rethink, re-evaluate and, um, you know, come together, put their heads together and just choose between um, coping between 
both school and your career or I don't even know how to put this but I feel most students just not like they should forget about their career but I think school is more important at the moment because I think every year not like we don't face track every year but I feel it's better you finish one step before you jump into the other because even if you want to go into career you still need school, school to yes, support that is so without school you can't support yourself in any career so I feel every student at this point should uh, you know buckle up try to open those books they feed under their bed and under their table we should open the books to read no matter what yes yeah, so are doing to the students we should just you know have it at the back of our mind that no matter what we will still resume one day even if we shirt, are very sure. yeah even if this is going to be for 10 months they should just always have it at the back of your mind that one day we will resume so it's not something that i should always just keep the book behind and focus on something it's not a bad idea but school is very 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 important and I think we have come to the end of this discussion to all, uh, you know, beautiful blah, blah, blah out there.